This is Focus, the video news magazine of Toledo Technology Academy of Engineering, with your host, Jesse Rodriguez. Students find math class either a breeze or challenging. To make it interesting, the 7th and 8th grade math classes had a project that had them writing and producing a book based on a math classic. Focus reporter Zach Saloff takes a deep dive into the math curse. Things are changing in today's manufacturing environment, and to that end, TTA hosted Manufacturing Day, a chance for students to explore what's new in manufacturing technology. Seniors, though, are steeped in this sort of thing with their senior capstone projects. Focus reporter Blake Theodoro shows you both in Industrial Innovation. One of the biggest happenings all year is the annual TTA Halloween party where students in all grades can get into the spirit, every pun intended, of this festive party. It all happens at the Field of Dreams Drive-In, a great place where students can have the time of their lives. Focus reporter Cameron Levels really got into the spirit of the evening in the Field of Screams. Now, from the campus of Toledo Technology Academy of Engineering in Toledo, Ohio, here's your host for this edition of Focus, Jesse Rodriguez. Welcome to the second edition of Focus for the new school year. As part of Nationwide Manufacturing Day, TTA hosted local companies in the library on October 26th. Students from both TTA and neighboring McKinley toured the exhibits to get a better understanding of how companies use technology in manufacturing. These exhibits are a direct tie-in with our senior capstone project, Constructing a Robotic Arm, an essential part of 21st century manufacturing. Focus reporter Blake Theodoro got the grand tour and walks you through Industrial Innovation. The first Industrial Revolution dates all the way back to 1760, and eventually we progressed to the assembly line thanks to Henry Ford. But by today's standards, all of this was extremely primitive. However, today, it's all about robotics and state-of-the-art manufacturing. All that and more was on exhibit at TTA's first ever Manufacturing Day, what we're calling Industrial Innovation. Many of these companies are already our business partners, and some came to our first open house, and were impressed by our curriculum. They came here to showcase their technology and even recruit future employees. It's been really, really nice. I've met a lot of kids. Uh, they're excited about solar, which is wonderful. They've shown me some of their projects, which is great, and I've had an opportunity to share with them what we do at First Solar and share some of the circuits and learn a little bit about electricity. My experience with TTA, I uh, graduated back in 2017, and uh, I did uh, my internships at General Motors, and I still work at General Motors today. Uh, a lot of the skills that I learned at Toledo Technology Academy were uh, directly transferable to General Motors, uh, especially in the labs in my uh, high school experience. TTA is often called one of the best kept secrets when it comes to what we do here. But nowadays, the secret's out. We're getting noticed for our exceptional engineering and manufacturing technology courses, as evidenced by these companies who sought us out. We have a whole lot of our business partners here um, that are representative of the manufacturing community in the city of Toledo and the surrounding areas. And not only are they here to support TTA, they're here because they're looking for a pipeline of talent for uh, all of the open positions that they hold within manufacturing and engineering. Uh, beyond that, we've also got uh, several colleges here because they too are in the business of supporting the, the jobs and the economy of the greater Toledo area. When it comes to innovation, you need look no further than our senior capstone lab, where ingenuity and knowledge gleaned throughout the years is put to the test. The first project seniors tackle is the robotic arm. It's a prelude to preparing them for their upcoming senior projects. Well, technically, it's a mechatronics arm that is pneumatically powered and electronically controlled. <sighs> Bit of a mouthful. Uh, the robotic arm project is the first project of a student's senior year here at TTA. It combines just about everything they've learned in the previous labs, and we put them in teams of three or four, and they have to design and build a functioning, programmable, pneumatically powered robotic arm. This project not only tasks their talents, but it builds teamwork, an important component they will need later on in the course. 
It's really a senior project in brief, but it's a good way to kick off the senior year. As a team, we had to work together, and it was a quite difficult project to start the year out. Uh, eventually, we got it to work by using everything we learned throughout our TTA career. This was the perfect combination. Manufacturing data set the scene, and the robotic arm project in the labs. It's really impressive what our students can do here, and we're getting our word out about our unique program at TTA. Reporting for Focus, with my buddy here, I'm Blake Theodoro. One of the hallmarks of TTA is our focus on special projects. Students in labs do projects all the time, but this story is about a special project in an academic subject, math. Mr. Price's math classes are integrating the rigors of math with the softer side of the arts using illustration and composition. Some consider math a fun subject, and then there are those who think of it as a curse. Focus reporter Zach Saloff takes a deep dive into the math curse. The children's book, Math Curse, is the basis for a recent project for the 7th and 8th graders in Mr. Price's classes. The first stage of the project was learning the content and theme of the book on which the project is based. To that end, it was read to them in class to give them a feel for what was expected. Then, once they understood the concept, they were on their own to write a story and illustrate it. Ultimately, their assignment was to create an actual children's book based on either their current or future lives that involved math. The assignment required their book to be geared to a specific grade level for children, and they had three weeks to create it. Again, the basis of their story had to be something that related to math, hence the math curse. It was not easy, and students had to use their knowledge of math and use their creativity and imagination to accomplish the task. The Math Curse book project was an opportunity for the 7th and 8th graders to be a little bit more creative with their soft skills instead of doing engineering because we don't have art class, we don't have writing class per se, so they got to write a story, they got to illustrate their story. A lot of them surprised me, they did it in Google Slides and printed it off so it looked much more professional than doing it by hand, but a lot of them did it by hand, which was really what I was looking for. Once the book was written and printed, it was submitted to Mr. Price for his critique, based on a specific rubric, and for those who wanted to go the extra mile, there was extra credit available. We did this math curse project and it was really fun. It took a lot of time, but it was fun thinking of concepts and ideas, like how to make the book, and I would say it was a really fun experience just doing that. The book had to be just that, a printed book. Although they could create it in a digital format, it had to be printed, and the results were fantastic. Basically, it was really fun. It took a while, but uh, it was a lot of effort, and I really liked how it turned out. The project was unquestionably a surprise to most of the students who didn't realize they would have to write a book in a math class. But projects like this are what sets TTA apart. This opened a whole new world for students with the opportunity to be extremely creative and innovative. Take it from me, math could be a curse, but not a TTA. Reporting for Focus, I'm Zach Saloff. It's that time of the year when ghosts and goblins roam the Field of Dreams drive-in for the annual TTA Halloween party. This is the party of the year, and more than 200 students in all six grades made the trek to Liberty Center to be a part of the celebration. Focus reporter Cameron Levels really got into the spirit of the party and takes you to the Field of Screams. Something wicked this way comes tonight at the Field of Screams. Ah! This is going to be a fun night, can't you tell? They came from school by the busloads, five buses in all. Some were in costumes. Others just came with the idea to have a fun time on a Friday evening. This was our annual Halloween party, way out in the country. And it was a blast. Our former faculty member Rod Saunders and his wife Donna, who owned the drive-in, always opened a special place for TTA, and there's so much to do here. Once a tiger, always a tiger. Uh, even though I'm retired, uh, I want to host the Halloween party. I know some of the students look forward to it, some of the staff looks forward to it, so as long as we have somebody willing to come out and help every year, I will continue to host and I hope you guys have a good time. It all starts with food. Lots and lots of food and drinks. Burgers, dogs, fries, you name it. Parents and staff pitch in to demand the serving line. Really, who can resist this fair? Well, it's a really fun annual event for the kids. They get to come out and mingle with each other, and us parents get to come out and meet everybody and have fun too. It's a great night. 
Costumes were totally optional, but creativity is the byword at TTA, and some of the students, and even the faculty, got into the spirit of the holiday with some truly unique disguises. Of course, there was the wide open field of dreams to just run around and play some games. This is what makes the venue so unique. Back inside, it was a return to the 1980s disco era, with a light show and very danceable music. This has been a part of the scene since its inception. The music was loud, and the crowd loved it. Naturally, there are the obligatory, ever-popular group dances, like the cha-cha slide and the macarena. For the more adventuresome, there are bouncy houses where students could romp around and get a little exercise in the process. Just off the dance floor, there is a game room, a place to play pool, cards, or video games. This is where you could relax and share in the camaraderie with fellow students, and take a break from the music. To say, it's really good. It's really great. It's the best we've had in a couple years. I have to say, every year since I've been here, it's been getting better and better and better. It's really, it's really great. Last year, it wasn't really the best. It was a lot of rain. So having some sunlight and a good bit of warmth, it's pretty good. Way better than last year. What would this amazing party be without the fire pit? It was a chance to get warm on a chilly evening and spend some time with friends. Well, this time of year, it is wonderful because it is no longer, it's not raining this time, and I can actually go outside and have fun. But all good things always come to an end, and students regrettably left the party, boarded the buses, and headed back to TTA. Our thanks to Saunders for opening up the drive-in yet another year, outstanding in the field of screams, I'm Cameron Levels, reporting for Focus. Well, that's all for this edition of Focus. There are so many great things happening at TTA, and this is our way to keep you informed. If you have any story ideas or suggestions, please email us at focus at toledotechnologyacademy.org. Focus is a production of the TTA video production classes. On behalf of the entire Focus News team, I'm Jesse Rodriguez. Have a great day.